For decades, artisanal diamond miners lived off the land in Sierra Leone's Kono district until the arrival of multinational mining companies. In the shadows of one of the biggest mining firms in Sierra Leone, these workers labor in the pits with the hope of getting a stone or two. But they fear soon their homes and the pits will be off limits. The government has handed their property to the Octia Mining Company to expand its operations. Janet Bayo is among the hundreds of residents who've been evicted. But we did not allow we for Lord and boil and boil and for we. They did not even allow us to pack our bags. They sent down rocks and water to destroy our house, our clothes, money. Everything was covered in debris. Trouble began at the end of the country's civil war when most people started returning home from refugee camps. When most of the people came back, they saw it fit that the place is now safe. They started rebuilding their homes with proper documents. The company challenged them that they are, building, they are putting up illegal homes. Protests followed in subsequent years, killing and injuring a number of people. Aya Momo, who was shot and killed during a demonstration in 2017, is buried right here in the middle of this street as a sign of resistance to the mining companies and government of Sierra Leone. The standoff over accusations of abuse and displacement between the community, the mining companies and the government has now escalated to West Africa's regional court. Members of the community also claim their farms and water sources have been polluted by mining activities. Octia has built new homes for those who have been evicted. Janet's family was given a four-bedroom house instead of the five they were living in. She complains it's small and that it leaks whenever it rains. Prince Boimer's house and farm have also been marked to be taken over, but he vows to fight on because he says the terms are unfair. I, the document was prepared by the company. It's not prepared by us. They hire people, they hire everything. They do everything according to their wish and strength because they have money. And they are, they, 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 they are using our own local authorities against us because they have money. The community has taken its case before West Africa's regional court because they say the people have little faith in the justice system here. An official of the mining company, who at first denied knowledge of the court case, later said he can't comment on a matter that's before the courts. On his part, the lawyer representing the government of Sierra Leone acknowledged receiving the court papers, but says the government was yet to study them. With a lot at stake, many people here expect a trial to be long and hard. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Koidu, Sierra Leone.